Hi up, this is my ghosty and I have some news not related to the game but with Sari Cordor. I'm kinda disgusted about it and you could possibly go onto the game and see why and tap the Starry Cordor going hot and there's your answer. Um I don't like something that's trending that's so nuded and child play. Well not child play but adult play. And it's kind of disturbing me a bit because Love Nikki is child friendly. And so I will not be posting anything in Star Recorder until it's sorted because I just don't want something like that disgusting. And then putting my suits that's not like theirs as a bad advantage. Okay, so I will not be posting any of my new avatars into Starry Corridor because I'm just sick and tired of this disgusting trend that's going on behind those closed doors. So, okay, this offense. So I asked my community and I asked some friends of mine if this is worth my diamonds and most of them said I should save up for the hell event that will come quote-unquote February. Everyone is talking about it coming in February and I am scared for my ass. Like, my ass is trembling. <laughs> I can't put up the silly face, y'all. Um, Snow Queen is very beautiful. Um, but I'm thinking, since Black Rose is very beautiful herself, there is no use for her in any of these stages. So why is Snow Queen worth it? Because she'll probably be in the dust when it's over as well. So there is literally nothing with a good advantage with, between these two. Even in Elf Queen or Snightly Spirit. There is nothing in these stages for them for. So I'm sorry, but I have to go with that choice. That there is nothing for them in these stages. And me spending a lot of my diamonds on Black Rose is a regret. Um, but I really love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. So I'm not going to make that same mistake with Snow Queen. So I will not spend any of my diamonds with Snow Queen. Um, but I will d do my last two tries to actually complete Radiance. Um, so with this Hell Offense, I don't know what it is. And I hope it's not out on February. It's not just me that's hoping that, but it's a few people as well with having like diamond difficulties. Um, it's very terrifying because with Hell Offense, they don't come back in crafts, they don't come back in stores, they will literally come back in their own event. Like, there was news about this one Evernight's Dream. Now, if you remember playing this, Not them three as um, from the very beginning, but these two. Her and this one. Now with these two, they don't come back in crafts or stores. I think I mentioned that before, but I don't remember. Um, they will come back in their own offense as well. So with the hell offense, they don't come back. As I repeat, don't come back for crafts. They come back in a, in the very expensive event. Now I don't know when. I don't know what day they will come back. But they will definitely come back. But diamond wise, so that's basically the down point in it. Um. So the I think. Love Nikki mentioned there's gonna be well quote unquote a massive update in the on the thirty first of January I think and it'll be something relating to the guide. Now the guide is well you know what the guide is, but you know there's gonna be some major changes that there's gonna be three slots in it. So this one's your first slot, there's gonna be another slot here and another slot here. And you could actually complete three suits at the same time. Now you still have to do your regular, you know, using your stamina, spending diamonds, or no, spending gold and spending satellite coins for crafting cards, I guess. Um but that's it though, but you know keeping keep on track 
with the percentages on these three suits that you made as your target is a helpful hand that you don't have to constantly keep changing your you know slot like this since you already have a few target suits you just have to keep ch changing just to see which one is close so as i'm doing right now since i already targeted four suits it's kind of hard <laughs> right so uh, these flipping recharge suits at the very beginning is kind of annoying me like this so it's kind of annoying but love nikki being as generous as always they put in two other slots in the guide for us to actually complete well sort out three suits in one go so that's very 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 handy and i really love that um update more than anything else so marionette grice my stunning little princess i will probably get over you some at some point just at some point <laughs> um don't get me wrong i actually love starry corridor but it has a lot of disadvantages and it's come to the point now where i'm just gonna be that stubborn being because i am a stubborn person and i will say no to almost everything because i'm just that i'm a bitch basically <laughs> so starry corridor i will not post anything on it until the mods actually sort this horrible trend out because i just don't like anything like that i expose nudity or something negative towards these kids and i just want it to stop so if you're against me about that i don't really care post comment and whatever but i will not be that person that's be like it's very creative keep on trending no i will not encourage them because it's just against the rules with love nikki and they'd like to keep it as child friendly as possible but the gamers are basically ruining that for them so please stop trending this horrible adult play because it's just not on um i would say have a nice life but i've just gotta say bye